I love watching AITA videos. Am I the butthead? So I googled out of curiosity AITA handbag and some things actually came up on Reddit so I wanted to discover them together with you guys. For Christmas, my wife asked for a purse as the one I got her from Venice a few years ago back was falling apart. Juice, come here. You wanna say hi to everyone? Juice always wants to play when I start filming. <laughs> Okay, so it was $20 for Venetian leather, he explains. Got her a new one. It was maroon leather from Macy's. She didn't like it. You should really let a woman pick out her own bag. Don't pick out a bag for a woman. And, I mean, unless you know what she wants. After the holidays, we went purse shopping in a half dozen other stores. No dice. Well, what stores were you taking her to? Did you ask her what store she wanted to go to? She finally found the one she liked at the... PX happened to be a Brighton. Ooh. It was $465 on sale for $372. That's not bad for a handbag. For a Brighton bag, maybe. Those are hideous. Uh, I would question your wife's taste. I knew she wanted me to buy it for her because she doesn't spend money on herself. I blanched at the price tag. I don't know what that means, but if this is your wife, you can afford $300 for a bag for her. I mean, unless you guys, maybe you have eight kids and, and feeding them is more important and I could see that, but $300 is not a lot for a bag. I mean, most luxury brands are charging a couple thousand dollars for bags now, so you should be happy your wife's into Brighton. 13 year anniversary was on the 6th of January, invited her outlet shopping to look for a purse that she might like, nothing. She subtly hinted that I should go back to buy the purse she wanted again. Just get her the Brighton purse and be glad that she's not into Louis Vuitton or Prada or Chanel. I mean, well, that is coming from a very privileged place. I realize that not everyone can spend thousands of dollars on a bag, but your wife asked you for one thing. It's, it's not that expensive. You can save up for $300, if nothing else. Just save $20 every paycheck. You'll get to $300 eventually. <sighs> My wife spent the last 11 years as a stay-at-home mom raising our children. Now she's an accountant. She has always been super frugal. So that would be a great gift, something that she would not be willing to buy herself. You shouldn't complain about the price of it. Come here, sweetie. Come here. If she has never bought you a gift that expensive, then I could see where you're coming from. But I'm assuming that she would buy a gift as nice for you if she's asking you for a gift that nice. He says, consider Valentine's Day is coming up and her birthday is in March. Get her the bag. I was recently discharged from the army due to cancer and am jobless. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take a step back here and I'm going to take back what I said. <laughs> so you don't have a job. Before when I was more extravagant with spending, we were making good money. Now we make like 80k a year less. How much money were you making before? So I live in a very low income part of the United States. Uh, so that would be awesome if me and Kevin together made $80,000 a year. Uh, we don't. <laughs> and, that's, and that's just how much less they were making. So I'm curious how much they make total. It seems like you can definitely afford $300. Maybe you live in like New York City or something and the rent is crazy. I don't know. The, ref the rent here is $1,500 a month for a crappy apartment that's not safe, where your car's gonna get broken into, where they can't keep the lights on, where they can't keep the roof patched, where the whole right side of the building is sinking because they won't... F okay, I'm going into my own stuff. My greatest vice is collecting. Have over 40 k in Magic the Gathering cards alone. I would exceed a $300 gaming budget just about every month. She gave up her $100 personal budget to offset my spending. I say these cards are investment. I totally take back what I just said. You are a 100 million percent in the wrong. Buy your wife the $300 bag, you psycho. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry for getting offended there, but that's ridiculous. <sighs> That makes me angry. <laughs> okay. He just said he has over $40,000 in Magic the Gathering cards and he can't buy his wife a $300 purse. You are the butthead, sir. Uh, 
He's, he, he goes on for a while, but I'm already going to say you are definitively the butthole. I don't really plan on selling them. Yeah, you don't, you can, you can, oh gosh. I would never sell any of my bags. I, the bags that I buy are for me to keep forever. Unless I just don't carry it, uh, then I'll give it to one of my friends. But if I buy a bag, I plan to keep it forever. Uh, so it holds no value for me other than just the fact that I want to keep it as a collector. He spent $40,000 on a card game. And you can't buy your wife a $300 bag. Okay. When she raised your children. Okay. This demonstrates I've been selfish when it comes to how money gets spent. Instead of saving for our mutual financial goals. Being paying off our house early. Okay, so at least he can recognize that he's in the wrong there. I'm frustrated because the function and aesthetic of a purse could be met for as little as $20. Well, you know what? You can buy a card game for $20. You don't have to spend $40,000 on a card game, do you? No, you don't. You can buy one deck of cards. You can just play. You can just play the normal deck of, what is it, 24, 52 cards? Yeah, just play a normal deck. Of, just play goldfish, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a Walmart's, oh my gosh. He goes on, if that pretty black purse had been a Walmart special for 30 or even 100, there would have been no problem. Walmart has no nice handbags. Okay, Walmart has some like cheap fake leather handbags that might get you through a few months, but fake leather handbags, if you wear them every day and carry them, they're going to fall apart after a few months. Any fake leather that I've experienced, uh, enlighten me if some of these new, like, leaf leathers or something are very durable. But in my experience, fake leather falls apart if you actually use it. I've always been a save on the little things so you can afford the big things kind of guy. But you can't afford a $300 bag for your wife who raised your kids. I will go and buy the purse tomorrow because it's important, and I do think she's entitled to it, as she is now the primary breadwinner. Yeah, you know what? You should go get your wife a $40,000 bag, sir. That's what I think. Go get her an exotic Birkin, is what you need to do. I think that would be fair. I think you should sell your Magic the Gathering cards, tell your wife that you've come to your senses, and buy her a Birkin. Which, by the way, I would never... Don't actually spend... Birkin money on a handbag. That's insane. I'm just saying because he spent $40,000 on cards. Oh my gosh. At least he's going to buy it for her and he does think she's entitled to it. Well, you should know that, sir. <laughs> she raised your children. Oh my gosh. I just wanted to have an honest conversation, wanting the decision to come from a place of mutual reason and deliberate choice. She shouldn't have had to beg you for the bag, sir. You should have bought her the bag. If you can spend $40,000 on Magic the Gathering cards, I don't really know what that means, but if you can spend $40,000 on collecting anything, then you can buy your wife a $300 bag. You should be glad she didn't ask you for a $2,000 bag or a $6,000 bag or a $30,000 bag because that's the normal price point of luxury bags now. So <laughs> be so happy that your wife is into Brighton. She said by making such a big deal about it, by being stingy and selfish, it's just about ruined one of the very few things she's asked for. A-I-T-H. You are 100% T-H. I'm just going to leave that video here because that was such a long one. But let me know if you guys liked this and I'll find some more and react to them with you guys. I love you so much. I hope you guys have the best day. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Devin Christopher if you're new. And I will see you guys in my next video if you want to see it. Bye.